Hey now, you're a math star, get your game on, go count. Hey now, you're a math star, get your game on, go add. When all that counting is done, we'll be adding sums. Well, today we're going to be subtracting, so we're not finding sums. But you guys did a great job doing addition yesterday. Today we're going to do some subtraction. All right, so let's get started. All right. First of all, we're going to go back to our five frame. Did you remember that was called a five frame from yesterday? Because there's five spaces. And we're going to do a subtraction problem. Subtraction is take away. So we have an amount that we start with, okay? And we're going to take away from that amount. So is that amount going to get bigger or smaller? It's going to get smaller. So here we go. We have four. One, two, three, four. So our first number is four. And you learned about the addition sign yesterday, the plus sign, right? Today, we're learning about the, uh, the subtraction sign, the minus sign. Say minus, and it just looks like a little line. It's minus your, look at, see this? And you're taking away, okay? Take away. So four minus two. Now the way that I'm going to show this four minus or four takeaway is I'm going to cross out. It says take away two. So let's cross out two. That means we're getting rid of them. One, two. Okay. And how many do we have left? One, two. Four minus two is two. Okay. Four minus two is two. Nice job. We use the word take away last time we did subtraction. So for take away two. So that minus sign right there, like I said before, it means take away. Take. Oof. Away. I have a hard time writing on the computer. Do you guys have a hard time writing still? I guess we just have to practice more. For takeaway two is, do you remember we used the word is, that equal sign is the same as the word is. For takeaway two is two. But we don't have to have those words. We can just use this sign for minus or for takeaway two is two. All right. So Let's get started. You need your math book and a pencil. Hopefully you have it. If you don't, you can pause this and go get it. All right. And here we go. Module five, lesson four. I can solve a subtraction problem and model the problem with an equation. What's an equation? It's this right here. This is an equation. We just have to have the answer. Okay, so you're going to go to page 115. That is written like this, one, one, five, 115. And your train should be on, on that page. Okay, I want you to listen to the subtraction word problem. There you go. Listen to the subtraction word problem. How can you solve the problem? Baxter and his five... Or, I'm sorry, Baxter and his friends are at the zoo. Five children ride on the train. Some children leave the train. Now there are four on the train. Oh, okay. So let's see. How many children were to st at the start of the story? I'm going to read it again. Baxter and his friends are at the zoo. Five children ride the train. Some children leave the train. Now there are four in the train. So let's see here, let's draw, oh, here we go. We're gonna draw four children or five children on the train because that's how many there are to start. One, two, three, four, am I done? Five, five children are on the, on the train. Now, some leave, we don't know how many leave, hmm. But we know at the end, there's going to be four left. How can we figure that out? Hmm. I wish I had some math stars to help me figure that one out. 
hmm, that's a good idea. Let's see. All right. We're going to start. We're going to count backwards from five. Do you know how to count backwards from five? We're going to count back. And we're going to cross them off as we go. And we're going to stop when we get to four. Let's count. Let's count up from, from one all the way to five. One, two, three, four, five. Can you guys practice counting backwards from five? Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, that is good. I'm going to right here. We're going to put one, two, three, four, five. Now let's count backwards starting at five. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so we are going to cross out until we get, we're starting at five because there's five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to cross off and we're going to stop when we get to four. So when we get to four, will you tell me stop? Okay, ready? We started at five. Four. Stop. Yes. Let's see. How many are left? One, two, three, four kids. Four kids on the train. So how many kids left? Say Okay, so how many did we start with? We started with five kids. We do take away. How many left? One. And how many are there now? Four. Nice job. Whew. Kissed your brain. That was so hard, Math Stars. That was really good thinking. Let's go on. Okay, the next page. Here's number one. All right. Listen to the subtraction word problem. How can you use objects to represent the subtraction? Write the numbers to represent the total and how many leave. Trace the sign. Three children are riding in a paddle boat. Ooh, you hear that? Three children are riding in a paddle boat. Two leave the boat. So we have to write this. Now, I forgot to tell you, see this right here in your book where it says, it says math board. That means if you go online to the into math, the ed site, there's, you can use cool manipulatives. It's really cool. All right. So if you want to do that later, you can do that with your mom. But right now, let's just write down. We said three children are riding in the boat. So our first number is three. Do you see this right here? This is our takeaway, our subtraction sign. Three children are riding in the paddle boat. And how many leave? Two children leave three and take away two. Now, can you tell me the answer? How many are left in the boat? One. Okay, nice job. All right. Number two. Number two. Listen to the subtraction problem. Okay. Write the numbers to represent the total and how many leave, okay? Trace the sign. Four children are playing on the slide. One child leaves. How many children are playing on the slide? Four children. That's what we need to write here. Four children are on the slide and we take them. How many leaves? One child leaves, four take away one. How many children are left playing on the slide? Let's count, one, two, three. All right. You can pause this while you finish doing that. All right. Let's go to number three. Five sheep are eating grass in the field. Three sheep run away. How many sheep are still eating in the field? Well, we are going to represent the sheep with, with um, some circles. And I'm going to make them cir white circles because they're white sheep in my story. Okay. Five sheep are eating grass in the field. One, two, three, four, five. Now here's something really important. When we're subtracting, we're going to cross off. We're going to mark them with an X, however many it says. So five sheep are eating grass in the field. Three sheep run away. So how many am I going to cross off? One, two, Three, nice. How many sheep are still eating in the field? 
Let's count how many are left. One, two. So now we get to write in a, in, um, a subtraction problem. How many did we start with? One, two, three, four, five. So that's our first number. That's our total number that we started with, five. And then we're going to take away how many went away. Now, here we have the word is. Do you remember we did that before? Because five take away three is, it's the same as this sign right here, equals. Five take away three is two. Two. Five take away three is two. Okay, you can pause this while you do that. All right, question number four. Listen to the subtraction problem. Use objects or drawing to represent the problem. And then we're going to mark an X um, to show the objects being taken from the group. Complete the number sentence to model the problem. Two kittens are playing in some leaves. Two kittens. Okay, we're going to draw two kittens playing in some leaves. One, two kittens playing in some leaves. One kitten goes to sleep how many kittens are still playing in the leaves? So we have two kittens playing in the leaves. One of them goes to sleep. So we're gonna cross that out because that's that kitten is no longer playing. How many kittens are playing now? So let's look. How many did we have to start with that goes here? Two and take away how many are take how many fell asleep? One is how many? How many are left? Can you count? One. Nice job. Two take away one is one. All right, you can pause this while you do that. All right, we're ready for our step it out question. Here we go. Listen to the subtraction problem. Use objects or drawings to represent the problem. Complete the equation to model the problem. Tell about your picture and how you solve the problem. Three turtles are sitting on a log. One turtle goes into the water. How many turtles are still sitting on the log? Let me read it again. Three turtles are sitting on a log. Ooh, we should represent, we should draw three turtles. Draw, are you gonna, ready? Okay, let's draw three turtles sitting on a log. Okay, one turtle goes into the water. How many turtles are still sitting on the log? So we had three and we're gonna cross off. How many? One turtle goes into the water. How many are still sitting on the log? All right, so let's look here. Write the equation. How many do we have to start? One, two, three. That goes right here. I'm not gonna write it. I want you to do it. That goes right here. And that's our first, because that's the total we started with. And then here's the minus sign, minus or take away. How many jumped into the water? Write that number here and trace the equal sign which means it is equal to, so how many we started with minus, how many jumped into the water because here is equal to how many are left on the log now. You write that right here. Pause this video while you do that. All right, are you ready for the on your own? Okay, which means you're going to listen to the story and you're going to do the question. You're going to represent it. Then you're going to have, after you finish, you're going to have to go to your homeschool teacher and show them to make sure that you got it right. Okay. Listen to the subtraction word problem. Use objects or drawings to represent the problem. Complete the equation to model the problem. There are five, ding, 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 five frogs in the water. Four frogs jump on the shore. How many frogs are still in the water? I'll say it. I'll read it again. There are five frogs in the water. Four frogs 
jump on the shore. How many frogs are still in the water? Okay, so draw a picture that represents it. Don't forget to mark an X on the ones that left. And then write your equation. Something take away something equals how many? All right, you can pause this while you do that. All right, awesome job, math stars. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow for some more math.